Hi, my name is Rick. I'm here at the Bike Shed and this is my Harley Davidson Sportster 48. So the idea of getting this bike was quite a surprise. Um, three years ago, I woke up and I thought I really want a Harley Davidson. What do I need to do to get one? So I've done my research and I quickly find out what I wanted. I want a Harley Davidson Sportster. It had to be new so I can work on it like a blank canvas. It had to be black and loud. So since I got this bike, I've been commuting every day to work. Uh, it's a very reliable bike, very uncomfortable, um, but I don't care about it because it looks freaking awesome. Uh, I've done some long trips with it. Me and the boys, we went to Germany, uh, France, Netherlands, Belgium. Uh, the only downside, it's literally this peanut tank. Uh, it's so small, I, I always need to carry a jerry can um, just in case I run out of petrol. So let me just walk you through some changes that I've done to the bike. So starting from the front of the bike, uh, the front end, uh, I've anodized the front forks. Uh, they were original chrome. I didn't like it. I got rid of all those reflectors. Didn't want any orange nonsense on my bike. I've had a rough crafts grill, headlight grill. Really like it, gives it a more aggressive look. I got the drag bars. Um, gives it a more bobber look. Got the Harley Davidson diamond grips. They are quite cold in winter because they are metal, but they look nice. I've relocated the Speedo, so it's on the side now with a Joker Machine um, Speedo side mount. I've added this um, Joker Machine to um, handlebar clamp and this master cylinder um, cover. Uh, moving to the tank, um, it was original uh, gloss um, black, so I've matte black the tank. I've kept the Harley Davidson badge, which I quite like. I've added the, the flash cap, uh, which gives it a more low profile to the tank. Nothing sticks out. Relocated the coil, so all this bit underneath the tank, it's clean, see-through. It seems like the tank is lifted, but it's not. I've done a stage one. So I got the Screaming Eagle air filter, short shorts, Vance and Hein. I got rid of all this plastic for the belt. So no belt covers here. Um, added the Joker machine uh, transmission cover, point cover, and Joker machine foot packs. You can tell I quite like this brand. Um, moving to the seat. I didn't like the standard seat. So I really want like a bobber uh, leather saddle. Uh, so I got this Mother Road Customs. Really like it, not the most comfortable seat, but uh, sometimes you just need to compromise to get the looks. So moving to the back of the bike, uh, I've relocated the indicators. Uh, I might change them for smaller ones. Um, I got rid of all this plastic and a huge number plate that comes with the bike. I have a side plate, uh, side mount plate now on the bike, looks much uh, neater. And I got this standard Harley Davidson CC bar. It's quite handy for long trips to get my backpack, jerry can, whatever I needed, lock. And, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, like I told you, it's still a work in progress. Um, lots of stuff to be added, but let me show you how it sounds. <laughs> 